Welcome back, Random TV Reviews. Your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stella. All right, we coming in, baby. It was good. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Bel this was a good, man. This was a good. Season one, episode nine. Can't knock the hustle. Can't knock the hustle, We just going to go ahead and get right into it. Man, first of all, right out the gate, I want to say Uncle Phil pissed oh. me off this episode. And Jeffrey, man. That's my... Mm. I need me some... I already have some Jeffreys in my life. I get ready to say yeah, no. I, yeah, no. I have some Jeffreys in my life, but now I want, I want even some more, more. <laughs> Jeffreys. You know, the Jeffreys that save you from yourself. Right. right. Those kind of Jeffreys, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. That but, also hit us. Yes. <laughs> that would do what you won't do or can't do. They'll catch a case because they love you so much, man. Man. And then after they catch that case, they will come back and be like, you know you was wrong for that, right? Right. <laughs> and because I love you, yeah. I took this one yeah. as a good soldier. But I should whoop your way for doing it. <laughs> yeah. See them right there? That's what I did it for, for real. Your family. <laughs> So, this episode, we see Uncle Phil and the family has to go to uh, Pastor Lamont Church because mm. we always know when family. black politicians is running for office, they ain't been to church in 10 years, but they got to go gotta one go. Sunday and the pastor going to let them speak before the, off yep, before the offering so that they can let the people know that they're running for office so they can get more of the black vote. Yep. That's what Uncle Phil and them did. And Carlton had to do a solo. But it tripped me out before they went. Will was like, I didn't know you could sing. Yeah. And, 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 what, and what type of music do you sing? Like, what's yeah, your yeah, yeah, what you... They said it was just kind of my just thing. Just yeah, my you know. thing, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's just like, it's just my thing. Yeah, it's my thing. <laughs> you know. But. Oh, yeah. I was already saying what the... Yeah. That's how close he is. Like, yeah. Why are you so close to people face, Carlton? <laughs> But Carlton, he impressed me, man. He, he was singing. He was singing. Yeah. He would get ready to take us to church, man. But the anxiety kicked in and he couldn't finish, man. But I was like, oh, yeah. God, don't they should let him finish, man. Because he was singing that song. But you know, that church, song was powerful. church always going to encourage you. When you mess up, take your time. Take your time. You got it. You and, got it. And they're going to let the whole congregation know that you ain't been to church in a long time. We haven't been graced by his voice <laughs> in a few years. <laughs> See, that's why people don't come. Because don't remind me. I, I knew the last time I was right. there. Why you got to remind me and everybody else? Just nasty. But I feel, Carlton, though, uh, if you ever had to get up in front of the black church and say anything, whether read a scripture, say a prayer, preach a sermon, or whatever, the looks that them people give you, that's enough to give you anxiety. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> for real, When that real. little boy said, I hate this church. <laughs> Y'all remember what that means? Yeah. I hate this church. So when uh, Will them got back home, um, Hillary was like, "Well, I think you need to talk to Carlton because it seems like you two are really getting along now, and which they are, they and which are. their relationship has like did a three sixty man. One eighty, like, yeah, <laughs> one eighty is that one eighty? Yeah, well, I'm gonna say three sixty. No, three sixty is start with you. Start. Yeah, true that, true that. <laughs> so Will goes to talk to him. And he basically expressed, like we already say, the pressures of his life mm -hmm. and what his family and daddy is putting on him is that it just drives him to just... To wild out. Yeah, to wild it out. And so... But I like what he said. He was like, I have anxiety and I have anxiety about telling people about my anxiety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and that is so true. Like, <clears throat> you know, I, I've dealt with anxiety before too. And you don't want anybody to know because... It makes it weird. Yeah. You know, and then people be like, are you okay? You all right? You know, no, I just had a freaking stressful dang old period in my life. Yeah. I don't <laughs> doubt with it. It's cool now. <laughs> but y'all do know there's a difference between anxiety and fear. Yeah. They are not the same thing. They you're feel not. alike, but they're not the same thing. But just in case you don't know what the difference. So fear is. Preach if, it. <laughs> play, preach it. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Let me stop <laughs> Fear is if you leave out your house and you look down on your sidewalk or your grass and you see a big old snake and you get scared and start going, that's fear. Mm -hmm. Anxiety is the thoughts about stuff that has never happened yet. If I go outside, maybe, maybe there's a yeah. snake outside. So you be, you're being afraid about stuff that haven't even happened yet. So that's mm -hmm. anxiety. Hey, man, I like how you did that. You like how I did that, Mike? Man, leave, <laughs> leave a cash app, man. <laughs> we don't be doing these sessions for free. <laughs> 
All right, so we also know that, that you know, Will asked Jeffrey to find out where his daddy's at. But we saw that just before they was getting ready to go to church, Will was asking about it. But Jeffrey was like, hold on. You know, this is your Uncle Phil's most important day. So we're going to handle this when we get back. So right. when they got back, he gave him the papers. Yeah, and that. this was another moment right here where Jeffrey did such a hard thing. And he really wanted to embrace Will like a daddy. He did. Or like an uncle or, you know... You know, somebody real important in his life. Because he know and, what happened. Yeah. He know what happened. So Will was like, did you read it? And he was like, yeah, I read it. And he told Will, he was like, if you decide to move forward with this, it's not only going to change your life and your dad's life, but this whole entire family. I said, what is in this thing? Yeah. So it's like, what? And so that just really got Will's. Will's turning because at this point he said, I'm 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 like super happy right now. I'm satisfied. You know, yeah. I'm up in here living, my life is changing, and now this piece of information could just destroy, destroy all everything. this. Everything. But what, I was real confused about the fact that Jeffrey came in there, but he never once told Will, This is our secret. I'm nope. giving I'm doing you a solid. Nope. Don't tell your <sighs> uncle, no nothing. It was like, nephew, this is the information. You do with it what you will. <clears throat> I was like, you're not afraid? Because Uncle Phil loves to tell you that you work for him. Yeah. <laughs> he loves to bring yeah, that up. Yeah, yeah, bring that up. Uh -huh. And I'm sitting here like, you're not, you're not concerned about your job? Like, I'm sure you get medical benefits <laughs> at 401 to the K. Like, <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, <laughs> Jeffrey, you about to put this all on the line for a kid? Yeah. That ain't got no job? And, and then, uh, then what else was, like, real impressive, too, like, when Wilden went to church, um, he asked, uh, Carlton was like, do you, you know, I'm looking for my dad. Do you think that's really a good idea? You know, cause everybody wants to keep a lid on this thing and I want to take it off. Do you think it's a good idea? First of all, so why are you like, having this conversation so that, right now? There's like, time and it's right, bad. But that's that, that 180 relationship for them fighting to now he asking Carlton for advice. Carlton said, well, you're in a <laughs> place where people are seeking to find some answers from a, a, from a source, source that, <laughs> yeah. you know, I said, well, yeah, you better yeah, pray on it. Yeah. And then when Carlton got to sing it, I, he saw the best in me. Yeah, that's my song there, Mom and Sap, boy. I said, Mom and Sap had everybody lost it. Because you had the older people talking, so, yeah, he saw the best. <laughs> you, you know we were speaking about the Lord, right? We were speaking about the Lord, right? So I like later on in the episode that, uh, Carlton came back and told Will, he was like, your talk helped me not to use today. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, not only today, but I took and flushed them down the toilet. And I was like, I hope you don't go and re-up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I, awesome. I'm done with that narcotic. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand that you still under the pressure. Like, ain't nothing in his life changed. So it's like. And it's going to get worse because when you make a decision to change. Yeah. That's when. Boom. And, and that was his crush, but I like that Will said, bro, I got you, man. And it's time you need to talk. I got you. He said, let me take on some of this pressure. Yeah, for you, man. I was like, that, that's, that's big. Yeah, that's, what I, that's what's up. You also took his girl, but you know. Yeah, that too. <laughs> so, Will up under all this pressure, he decided to go and take that packet to Uncle Phil and tell Uncle Phil that, you know, I got Jeffrey to find out about my dad and he found him. But I'm afraid to go into to this paper because I because you know he said this was gonna mess up the family so yeah I don't think it's worth it and he, he almost like, made me cry I was like you've been the best dad that I ever had man you've been more of a dad to yeah, me than anybody have and I was like man but this is when we know right here Uncle Phil was protecting himself of course and was not thinking about Will's best interest and I'm like okay. This could have been an opportunity for you to really kind of help him Navigate with this. Navigate this pain. Right. And that's what Jeffrey confronted him with. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. But I'm like, Will is in a vulnerable state and he wants to know his dad. And you care more about your campaign. Or what or you your did. Or what you did. You yeah, know, so, I want to know. Yeah. I want to know what it I, is I that wants you did. To know, I want to know bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So before, like I said, before we get in talking about Jeffrey and what Jeffrey confronted Uncle Phil, it all started when they was talking about the about the debate that's coming up mm -hmm. and how uh, 
The campaign manager wants to slam Fred Wilkes because he was cheating on his wife while she had lupus. Dying of lupus. Yeah. That. Yeah. And I was like, man, that's a low blow. So when Jeffrey was sitting there, he was like, like. He was giving Uncle Phil the. Like, yeah, like. Bro, this nigga again. <laughs> to the point, Uncle Phil was like, "Whatever's on your mind, Jeffrey." Speak your thoughts. <laughs> so basically, Jeffrey Jeffrey told him that this is not you. You only what you want to do. You want people to twist your arm so after you do it, you can say that I had no choice. choice. Mm -hmm. And when you do have a choice, and I'm like, "Come on down, Jeffrey. Come on, speak, preach the truth." To this man. <laughs> and all the guy was like, so are we doing, are we prepared for a debate or are we in a therapy session? Because the information I got right here, that's going to knock Fred on out the park. Right. And, and like off camera, we talked about one of the things we just hate when us, you know, black folk will crush another right. black person just to get a position of power. Yep. When your guys could come together and support and, each other. And support each other. It makes no difference who is the HNIC. As long as whatever the progress we trying to make happens, it don't make a difference, it man. Don't. It don't. And usually the people that's in the background is more powerful than the front liner anyway. Exactly. So that leads us into uh Uncle Phil confronting Jeffrey about this packet that he gave Will about his father. Mm -hmm. And of course we know Uncle Phil was not feeling it. And At Jeff all. and Jeffrey told him a truth oh. that was so hard to swallow. Mm -hmm. And first, he told him that you've gotten everything, everything that you've wanted. That you set out for. And every time you always keep moving the finish line. So basically, it's you're never, never you never, never satisfied. It's, it's never enough. But I, I wasn't mad at that because I believe that you should always strive to be better and get more. Right. But here's the part that, that, that got me. He said, but you steamroll the people that you love along the way. And, and that love you the, the most. Yes. Along the way. And said, oh. he said, you, 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 you basically smothered your wife's art dream. You got a son that, just, that you don't, that he can't live his dream because he's an extension, extension of, of your yours. dream. And then and you got a daughter, daughter but he, he cut him off right there. Stop right there. I said, no, no, no. I want to hear what you got to say about the daughter. Yeah. And he was like, you tread no thin ice? Yeah. <laughs> and then, no and then ice. he sealed the deal where he said, now you about ready to destroy a good man. Fred Wilkes, you ready to destroy him and I said, for no reason. Man. Yeah, cause we have yeah, we yeah, cause we like him for all that kerfuffle that you that he been been but doing to the isn't family. Isn't that isn't that befitting that sometimes we don't like people based off of the people that we do like that have an issue or beef with them? Yeah. Because real facts, the only thing that we do know about Fred Wilkes is one, it seems like he he's down to cover up some corruption in the police force. Okay, that's not a good man to me. But the most of it was. Was how he did Lisa. Mm -hmm. He brought that mm -hmm in yeah. there. And basically lets this woman treat Lisa as if, oh, okay, you know, this is just my bonus daughter or whatever. And the issue that he has with Uncle Phil. So because of that, we don't like him. Yeah. But then when Jeffrey said he's he a, a good, good man. man. I like was he like, got his things with him, but he's a good man. I said. Yeah. Well, whatever you say, Jeffrey, I trust <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess he's a good man. Yeah. And so... Uncle Phil said, I can't trust you no more. So you fired. I was like, what? I said, well, what? Come on, but last week we thought he was turning his resignation letter, but I don't think because the reaction that he got, he was like. He was shook for yeah, like a he was shook. Yeah, he that was shook. That 401k says. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but before that, Uncle Phil was like, so you you got a thing about this whole thing right here because you feel guilty about the son that you, you left. I yeah. said, oh. oh. It looked like Jeffrey wanted to choke him right there, but I feel like but I feel like Jeffrey left his son to because protect that protect his family or to pursue a better life here in the, in the states. Right, right. Yeah, that's what I really think. Still no excuse. He should never left his son. But it, no happens every, it happens every it happens every day. Yeah. So he ended up getting fired, and Jeffrey was like, "Uh, uh, uh you're gonna have to tell them that." I took a, an extended leave of absence. And Uncle Phil, yeah, said because you got a family member that something happened to. Because he was like, There's <sighs> one, this is going to raise questions that you, you are like. not prepared to And answer. I was like, wait a minute, bro. Still you protected still him. protected him. Even though he just done skidded on you, fired you, because you love him enough to tell him the truth. 
that you destroying your family. And he still protected him at the end. I'm and then, feeling scared. And then when For he that. gave him the hug, he said, I want you to prove, prove me wrong. wrong. Because if you don't, this is going to split your family. Yep. I said, say, say Uncle Phil in the tears, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a hard truth because we know how Uncle Phil feels about his family. He do love him now. Yeah, because he said the reason why I keep standing my, my finish line is to feed my family. And I'm like, boo. But, boo. but you already got enough to feed your family. So For it's, a lifetime. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Jeff, I mean, Jeffrey gave it to him. Like, either you want this success you after and lose your family or you can keep your family and pursue this this DA thing. That's basically what I got up with him telling That's him. That's exactly what he told me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we know this episode that Aunt Viv is meeting with the fellowship. So she walked through the door and she looked like she saw a ghost. I did too. <laughs> I said the original <laughs> Aunt Viv and I died. Oh my God. I was like, it's so good to see them on. <laughs> yes. I love that they brought them in. Yeah, man. That was dope. That now, was it would dope. have been more dope if they would have had Light skinned on Viv and dark skinned on Viv <laughs> across yeah, from each other. But this, this duo right here, I was like, oh, and they look so good. Yeah, they did. Yeah, oh they God. did. So they was like, it's different now. On I was like, I'm used to a white man sitting here, white man sitting here, and you sitting there. So things have changed in the fellowship. So they asked her a question like, you know, what made you come what back? now? To painting, and then she, you know, gave the spill that you know that she was gonna basically make up that that it was hard, but she actually things got hard for her while she was painting. She got tired of having to prove herself to people, and she I just wanted her sure. art to speak for her. So basically, she was like, it was a struggle to be a black painter, basically, because right. you always have to explain yourself, right? And I got tired of explaining myself. And so they was pressing her just a little bit more. And they ended up saying, well, you got the position, but we need you to get tw get 24 hours to think about it. Because it's going to have a whole because lot of demands. Because there's some demands. You got to travel. You got to speak. So basically the a things. Campaign. Right. So basically the things that she ran away from, they asked her she got to do it gotta again. Do it again. You got to do it again. So you could see her basically like, whoa, I just thought. That I'm just going to be painting. Yeah. I mean, that's what I thought. I did too. Yeah. But no, they was like, no, you're going to have to be on the road a lot. Yeah. Like you said, speaking engagements, fellowshipping. I was like, yeah. 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 <laughs> so we saw like later on the episode where she gave him a call because all the stuff that's been going on with Uncle Phil's campaign, she came a call and was like, you know what? I, my family is going through a whole lot. My daughter's is crazy. My husband is trying to run this campaign. Jeffrey I, missing. Yeah, Jeffrey is missing. I mean, just, like, I mean, she just opened up his blood. I thought the woman was going to be like, oh, uh, okay, this ain't okay. for you. Yeah. She but was she, like, mm-mm. She said, I hear you, I, but. This is the reason we give you 24, 24 hours. hours. Yeah. To think about it. So you yeah. call me back your mom. <laughs> But we see also that Fred Wilkes, um, Judge Robinson told Fred Wilkes about Will's situation of how he got off. But I'm well, like, knew that was gonna happen. But I'm like, you the one that helped with it though. So why would you expose yourself? But that's a that's a whole new different subject. Right. But he com um Fred Wilkes confronted Lisa about it and was like, this is why I told you to leave Will alone and show him show her Will's mugshot. And he said, matter of fact, I didn't want you to go talk to him, but you need to go talk to him and ask him if Apologies. this is true. Mm -hmm. And when you find out that it's true, you can't see him. You can't see him no more. Ah, this is exactly what Uncle Phil told Will what, what was, was going to happen. happen. It was almost this episode, everybody's truths came back to bust them in the face. Yeah. Whether they wanted to or not, whether the intention of the lie or whatever they were trying to cover up was good or not. This was the episode that it was like, pop, 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 pow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then when Lisa came over to the house, now this is when the yeah. kids start to realize that yeah. Jeffrey gone because they, they looking for somebody Jeff to open the open door. Open the door, yeah. <laughs> and I said, well, first of all, y'all already took and told us that Jeffrey is the house manager. Yeah. I ain't he seen the butler. We ain't seen him but nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, go ahead and open the door for yourself. 
And when she came through that door, I said, oh. I said, here it is. And that's she was you. like, is this you, Will? I said, that, that's him. Same right, haircut. That's you, bro. That's you. Square head, that's him. That's him. Yeah. So he, like Uncle Phil said. He had to confess it. He had to confess it. He told her everything, man. And she felt so betrayed because she was like, like, I feel like I don't even know you. We don't have sex and everything. Yeah, I, and I knew that sex was going to come yes. up. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. I knew that was going to come up. Yep. So I, I, you think that's the end of their relationship? Mm-mm. You think after the campaign they're gonna come back together? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. It's something about that vir well, we assuming that's a virginity thing. We don't know, but something about that sex tie right now. Yeah, I think Carlton might have. Yeah, he he might have. I don't know. <laughs> now it's time for Uncle Phil's debate with Fred Wilkes and uh, Carlton and Will. After they got finished talking to Lisa, runs to the campaign. Because they want to let Uncle Phil know that, that they about ready, they about ready to pull the okie doke on you, mm -hmm. and they gonna bring up what you did for Will. And the guard was like, "You can't come uh, in. You need to call him. If that's your uncle and your daddy, like you say he." I said, first of all, yeah. who are you that you don't know who this man is and what his family look like?" Right. <laughs> so they hollered his name and what that and um, old boy come out there was like, "Yeah, this family, come on in." And I was like, other than that, I was like, this "Yeah, how they gonna tell him?" Yeah. This is what pisses you off when people need to answer their phones and they don't answer. Yeah. The most. <laughs> they don't do it. They don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. So Uncle Phil tells them. I got it. It's gonna be all good. I got it. I was I like, what you about to do? Oh boy, what you, how you about how you fitting to spend this one? I said he gonna do a rabbit on him from Green Mile. That's the only thing you could do is you gotta hit your own tea so that they don't have no tea to put on. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Yeah, so he got to open the statement. And basically he said, I'm a man that always put my family first, and that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm dropping out the race. Fred Wilkes is the best man for the job. Oh, yeah. and I was like... He said I fully endorse him. Like, but I, I thought, him. like you said, I thought he was going to put it out there like... Mm -hmm. Like um, Randy. Yeah, that, he, <laughs> that my opponent about to tell you that I helped my nephew get out of jail. So I'm letting you but know... But the judge helped me. Yeah. Because <laughs> I would have took him down with me. But I'm so glad that he did. I, I, I wanted him to win, kind of. Even though kinda. he pissed me off, yeah. But I'm glad that he dropped out because they, it was about to be a bloodbath amongst these black Good successful black men. Y'all, mm -hmm. y'all's whole reputation was about ready to be smeared for a, for a freaking district attorney position. Yeah. For what? Because Fred was being nasty and put his name in the hat. Yeah. I mean, that's basically what happened. Uncle Phil had it in the bag. Yeah. But he decided he wanted to be nasty. See the way that I'm built. I just would have took him down off of just just doing a solid to my own ego. Yeah. That's what I would have did. But I'm so glad that the first thing that Uncle Phil did, which he, you know, he told on on Viv, accept that fellowship. And she was <clears> like, what? He was so like, oh, so I kind of felt like he did it for her more. Too. So that she could pursue her dreams because that was the one that really crushed him right yeah. there. What he did to his wife. Yeah. Yeah. By, you know, smothering her dreams and now giving that back to her. So she can fly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this this it's gonna it's gonna be pretty interesting. I took a look at the description for next week's episode, which we kept on which we kept on saying we we believe that Will's father was just gonna show up. So Jeffrey told Uncle Phil that you should have helped him navigate through that so he can deal with this. But when the problem shows up. You can't navigate you it can't then. Navigate you got to take what it comes mm -hmm. with. Got to deal with the aftermath then. Yeah, so I think it's going to be all hell is going to break loose next week. And I think yeah. I and I think uh, Will's going to end up going back to Philly. Oh, I hope not. I think he'll end up going back to Philly. But the thing about Uncle Phil, even when he was trying to tell his wife about what was happening with Jeffrey and how, you know, you could tell your sister now that her son doesn't want to know about his dad, he was still lying. Yeah, still lying. Talking about something you know he said is better off not knowing. No, tell him, tell your wife the truth about what had happened. Right. That J Jeffrey on <clears throat> because he's on a leave of absence because yep. he told, he gave him the information, but he refused to look at it. But for that, I had to. Yep. But he <clears throat> knew that his wife was going to be like, you on some BS. Yeah. This man knows where the skeletons <clears throat> are buried. Yep. Why? Ego. Yeah. Ego. And, and, and I'm going to say this right here, and we always said these family secrets, 
are destroying our families, man. And that's that's the serious it's matter the board. where stuff is hidden from you that you need to know. I don't care how ugly mm -hmm. it is. You need to know. And it needs to be navigated. Right. It needs, yes, it do. Because it always end up coming up at the wrong time. Sure enough. And the damage, most of the time, most of the time, in most cases, unrepairable. Yeah. Where family members don't speak for each other ever. Yeah. Or, until or years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, we always say if that's you, you holding the family secret. Man, you might want to consider dealing with that. Yeah, get you because. get you somebody to sit down and navigate that with y'all. Yeah, yeah. Don't try to do it that. yourself, cause that's when you get it bucked up because you got too many emotions in the room. Right. Get you a neutral party. Yeah. Hire somebody. Hire me. <laughs> and this show is look at Will. That's it. That's the product. That's what you create, keeping secrets mm -hmm. straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty stuff. Who the hell is on a dirt bike tonight? Two down. <laughs> Holla, B.